Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and today we are doing another video about Dynamap. This is a server plugin for survival worlds or creative worlds or whatever you want to do. This also has the features of doing more plugins so like uh, grief prevention and uh, some of these other ones like uh, plot uh, squared it will do or uh, grief prevention. So it will allow you to see like all the land and all that or or factions as well. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So all you have to do is click on the download button. It will download. All right. I'm going to go into my area. Mine is on AMP, so it looks a little bit different than your guys's will. But I'm going to drag and drop it into the plugin folder. Now that it's in there, I'm going to start my server. And right off the bat, it's not really going to do a whole lot because there's really nothing there that it can do. Um, you kind of need to set it up in the config folder first before it starts doing anything. I think you also need vault if I remember correctly. But let's find out here in a second. Give me one second, we're missing one plugin and I'm gonna figure out what it is. All right, I'm back guys. So I wasn't really missing anything. Just to let you guys know, um, I am kind of on the front end of the 1.19 update. So they're uh, still kind of working on plugins and everything. So if you guys are interested in Dynamap, Dynamap will be available on their Discord. Uh, in the announcements section and they're releasing updates for each one of those um, and that's the one that worked for me I'll put a link in the description for their discord uh, and the plugin and all that but let's uh, let's go to the config file So the config file will look a little different. Um, so we have each version of the Minecraft uh, thing that we can do. So normally I have this also pulled up for us. So this is how big um, the radiuses are and compared to like disk size. If you need to stop and pause, uh, you can. This is just kind of a main, like, visibility and all that, and then also the low qual versus the higher quality maps. Um, and then some of the commands are in here too. I am also going to put this in the description below for you guys, but we're going to get right into it, and we're going to go back to the this one so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave it on hires because I'm I'm gonna probably delete it right afterwards so it's not gonna stay on my server too long uh, you can change what it looks like so a file tree or anything else I would not really suggest changing any of that uh, MySQL database you can set it up to that stuff if you want to um, also I mean, there's probably no reason you would need to do that right off the bat. Some of the other ones, though, you can send health through it. You can send the position of players. Allow chat, which, um, just to let you know, if you allow chat, it will show their IP address of the website. So just if you are kind of worried about all that stuff, just be aware of that. Um... High clients IPs, that's probably a good one to have on. Trusted client names. And then you can kind of go through this whole list of things to do as well. Um, so you can show how all that stuff again. Um, one of the big ones is, if I can find it, is what type of file you would like to save it as. So you can change the different files between uh, JPEG and uh, like P 
PNG files and all that stuff if I can find it. Oh, right here. So right here you can set the default image format. So if you have a preferred image format you want to use, you can change it to whatever you want. I usually would just switch it to JPEG. Um, there's really no reason to go anything else, but that is all up to you as well. Um, you can also bind it to a network, change the port of it. So say if you have this port already in use, you can change that. So the default port is 8123. But if you have more of these on your network, you probably want to change each and every one of them to something else. You can also have a login requirement for this. Um, you do have to set up a server for that to work. And then kind of, yeah, everything else is really stuff I probably wouldn't touch if I were you. So let's save this. I'm gonna go back and stop the server and restart it. So as that is starting, I'm gonna get back into the game. Wait for my game to load here really quick. jump in so as you can see there's really nothing that you can do differently uh, let me pull this over to the side really quick so first of all you can kind of you can create renders so the big one is let's create game mode So everything you do is going to be Dynamap. So Dynamap, you can pretty much do add IPs, IDs, um, pause, purge map. You can quiet the map, radius render. So if I wanted to do radius run, render, or let's do one or five by five. Uh, let's make sure I'm doing that in radius of 20. Oh, whoops. I need to actually define these. See, this one you can say what you want. So, I want World Caves and then 20 as a radius, if I can get this right. There's a whole lot of other ones you can do. You can play around with all these commands. Uh, the big one you're probably gonna do is uh, render, so dynamite render. And then the map name would be world. So render has just been queued. So here in a second you'll start seeing that the map has been or will start getting rendered. Um, it probably I wouldn't suggest having too many people on when this happens because it does take quite a bit of time but it also takes a lot of performance hit when you do it. Um, other than that, you can pause the renders, so if you do render, so pause, uh, and then we want to do full, so it just paused the full render. 
Some other stuff you want to do as well, or you can do, is you can do a um, purge, as I said. But we're not going to do that as of right now. I'm going to join you in a second here, and I'm going to show you the, what the web UI looks like. Alright, I'm back. So, as you can see, it started rendering. Um, you can pretty much go into this view, see the top-down view. You can also go into, see where the players are. You can also see, like, a side view. It's not going to be fully done because, once again, I only let this run for like four seconds. So, um, you can see all the cave view, but you can pretty much mark players. Uh, you can write down chat and say hi. Whoops. And what that will do is that will also go through the world. So, I can just say hi back. And then I would see it in the map. You can see the nether. It's not going to show up for me because once again I haven't entered the nether yet or in the end. And then what you can also do is you can add icons to the screen. So you can add placeholders to allow for, or markers I should say. Um, and I believe you do that by doing Dynamap Marker. But as I said, you can kind of play around with it the way you want to investigate. Um, this map is also integrated with a ton of different maps. So just be aware that um, you can do a whole lot with this with a lot of other plugins as well. Yeah. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you want another video, or some other videos, uh, put that in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.